Hi, Bean Beauties. Dita Bean here. How are you doing today? I am coming to you today because I have an unboxing of a different sort. It has to do with handbags, but it also has to do with planning. And I definitely wanted to um, bring that to you. But before we do that, I wanted to talk a little bit about you, my subscribers. I wanted to say thank you very much for all of you who have just recently joined me and y'all are my Bean Beauties. I wanted to say thank you very much for all of those of you who are watching, all of those who are liking, commenting, forwarding my content onto other uh, other people to watch and and come and subscribe. To thank all those people that I have um, collaborated with, I want to say recently. thank you very much for all your support. We're here for an unboxing of Autumn Beckman's. It's a, essentially a planner, but it's a planner for handbags. And I know that y'all have probably have seen several unboxings already that came out. I did order this December. Well, I ordered this in December when she first did her, her video. Well, maybe a day or two after she did her video because I was, a, I was behind. So I was behind and watching her, her video. But the day that I saw her video, I, I went ahead and ordered it. But what mine's a little bit different is because I have ordered the, the one that has the disc or you can do the disc and i know pretty much everybody else has done the 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 ring binders however many rings there is so this is how how it comes packaged this is my invoice i bought the laminated i got it laminated and everything and it was fifty dollars was for the product and i just got everything in it and she only charged five dollars shipping and so it was a total of $55. I think that she accepts the uh, Carno or Afterpay or one of those. Here is what it looks like package. It's very pretty. It says, thank you for shopping my small business. Like absolutely very pretty package, very pretty. See how she's got it packaged. So then here it is once you take it out and she's got everything packaged in here and it has a little thank you. It says, thank you so much. I can't express how much your support means to me as I launch my first product and how much I appreciate your patience as I work through the learning curve of fulfilling my first orders. I have included a few extras for you in appreciation. I hope you enjoy your, my hand, and it's called My Handbag Collection Organizer. Please reach out if you have any feedback or if you encounter any problems with your order, Autumn. And then her email for the business is hello at autumnbeckman.com so she says she was going to be putting in um some goodies in the emails that she sent us uh because she was running a little late because she had some problems getting the paper and then trying to get them printed and you know it's a small business and this is her first time doing it but i applaud her I applaud her for doing it such a fabulous idea so I just wanted to come on here and show you. I wasn't going to do it. And I thought, you know what? Nobody else has shown the fact that you can do the disc. I'm a disc girl. And these are the disc is what I was talking about. I, I have had a planner video before when I did my moving into my planner um, handbag, which was my planner tote, which is a Michael Kors um, pink blush um, tote. It kind of went through how I keep track of everything and what I use it for. So these are the rings on here. I have to show you on here, you can take the pages out and you can put the pages right back in. So she has everything in this planner except for the rings. You have to provide your own rings, which is why I pulled this so out. So this is her card and then she drew, this is her, her own personal art that she drew and she included as, as her goodies. And here is the first one. It is, oh, it's a Christmas card, okay. So here is here it is so thank you very much autumn i greatly appreciate it i don't really remember everything that comes oh you know what i should go to the website i should go to her website you can buy the products in the whole thing or you can buy in a full set or you can buy them individually and just get kind of what you want i wanted the, the full set because i figured i can always use it for some uh, another category if i want to change it out the full set comes with covers, two pages, laminate or not, that's your choice. And here are the covers. It says my handbook collection. Here's the front cover and then here's the back cover. 
and then it has a uh, set of dividers, a set of 10 dividers. These are these, are the dividers, which they're a little bit thicker cardstock, I think, than the rest of it. And you just put this in, in, in there. And it comes with item trackers, 50 pages. Uh, here's the 50 pages. Wish list pages, you get 10 wish list pages. Sales associate contact pages, you get 10 of those so that you can keep track of the people that you talk to at the, the different uh, fashion houses, thrift stores, names of employees that you work well with, days of the week that they work, things like that. Um, insider information pages, 10 pages, and I don't remember what that was for, but we'll find you out. You could again. get a six ring or an eight ring. So I got the eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So this, I'm not sure what size, does she say what size is this? But I think she says it's an A, A5 maybe. With the disc, it doesn't really matter because you put the disc where, where they go. So when it's put together, it'll look something like this. And, and before the video is over, I'll, I'll pause the video and then I'll, I'll, put, I'll put it together and, then, and show y'all. So here's your, here's your cover. You'll have the rings here. And then that'll be your first page. And the first page says, my handbag collection. And it has an area where it says your brand, the, the brand of the, of the product, the item, and a page. So I have to become familiar with myself with each of that one. This one, this first page might be a comprehensive page. I'm not quite sure. She did an in-depth video. It has been uh, over a month since I watched her video because uh, when she launched the product, she did an in-depth video. So you may want to go over to that video and check that out. That's what I'm going to do. I'll try to link that below in the description box to re-familiarize re myself of how to use this. Um, it says um, handbag collection. My handbag collection item tracker and then you put the the name brand of the product the style name of the bag uh, what size the bag is because like for instance my um Dooney satchels they have we have nano micro mini and medium and then just the satchel which the, the satchel is the large now i believe it changes back and forth so you can correct me down the instrument down in the description box if you want colors and patterns, so that'll help. And then the year or the season, like for instance, I have, I have the hydrangea pattern. You could put that it's a hydrangea pattern, what year it came out or maybe what year you purchased it. Oh, it has on here what year you purchased, um, where you acquired it from, whether you acquired it from the website, whether you acquired it from a third party, who the third party was, who your sales associate was. So there's plenty of information. So I suggest you go over, over to, to her YouTube her. channel and um, re-watch that video if, you ha if you've watched it already or go ahead and watch it, watch it now. What I like is that she has information on here like why I chose this piece. Uh, because I saw it, I liked it, and I bought it. <laughs> That's what mine are all going to say. Not really, but probably most of them. Um, how's it working out for you? And the notes, which is kind of anything that you want to put in there. And what I want to put in the notes section is because a lot of my pieces are vintage from Dooney and Burke and I don't know the names of them. I have been doing a series called Name That Bag, uh, which is Name That Vintage Bag or Name That Vintage-ish Bag or Name That Vintage Vintage Bag. And I put several different items in there. And then I ask you, um, the viewers, to help me identify them so it's, you know if uh, you have purchased them before where you got them from if you know around what year you bought them uh, if you know the name the style colors um, things like that that will help me and so in my notes I want to put on here like who the viewer was and what information they gave me so that it, if it's something that maybe I don't fill in fill in here but maybe um, it's information that I would want to know later on then I can keep track in there that's why I really wanted to pull it out already and start using it. So there's several pages of here. There's uh, 50 pages of that. It's front and back. I, I don't know when I started this. I had a teacher, 
I think it was a science teacher and an English teacher where they did not allow us to write on the back in high school. So I don't write on the backs because it was hard for them to read your work. You know, back then we did not have computers. We, you know, um, we some of us knew how to type. I, I took a typing class, but you know, it was all really, you did everything handwritten, you know, and we used cursive back then. So we had to fill everything out in double spaced and you had to, you know, handwrite everything. So when you would write on the front, it the imprinting would go to the back. And if you would write on top of the back of it, you know, it would blur it out and you really couldn't see it. So they wanted clean paper on the back. And what they would do is they would write notes on the back. So they had information on the front. And when you turn the page this way, you have your new information here and there was a blank page here. So what they would do is they would write notes corresponding to your papers as to whether or not, um, you know, what whatever they wanted you to say, you know, line whatever, you know, coordinated whatever information. So I have grown, I, I that was the habit, that was a steady habit that I had learned growing up in, in high school and going into college, I, 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 I held on to that and so even now. So writing on the back of a paper, it like, one of those things that kind of irks me. <laughs> it like makes me go, oh, it's a cringe moment for me. So I'm gonna have to kind of get used to this um, if I need if I need to go to the back. I, I, I suspect I may not need to go to because the because on the back of each paper it's a, it's the price tracker, which although uh, some some of the products do, it's like you when you purchased it, it was this product. I mean this cost and this it was this condition and you and what location you purchased it. Well, then you may go and um, check out the website and I might say, okay, I bought it on sale and this is how much the, on Dooney, because Dooney has all kinds of sales. And then I might kind of track the sales as far as, okay, when the sales are, are coming up or track w what the value of it, because even Dooney, you know, their prices increase not as drastic as other luxury houses, but they have increased a little bit. So you can kind of keep track of, of what they are now. And then if you go to sell them, you have the very beginning at least, even if you don't do anything else. And then if you decide you want to sell them, it's like, okay, I bought it for this price and this condition. Um, I checked now a year and a half later, and now the value of it has gone up by $50 or has gone down by $50. You can, you write it in here and then you can assess and then you can decide, you know, what you want to sell it for then it says if you sold it the back is like if you decide to sell sell the item to it it's like okay who you sold it to the date you sold it the price you sold it for their shipping address um shipping service that you use a tracking number and a phone number and email and then any kind of notes you have so that'll be good if you sell i'm not a seller but i am thinking about um, honing down my collection because I did go crazy because as as many of y'all know you know hopefully y'all know that I did not buy handbags for over 10 years and February of 2023 I bought my first Dooney and I went ahead and started buying handbags and I just went okay it's late night so we'll pretend it's late night TV so um, I went back shit crazy <laughs> we all know that with ordering i have things confession confession time i have boxes that are piled high that i have not unboxed yet i know what they have i try to keep track of everything because what i do is most are most of my buys are through thrifting and thrifting comes and goes you may go through these periods where where a lot of people are donating so this there's a it's plentiful in and the stores i thrift I'll do all my thrifting online i usually thrift through shopgoodwill.com goodwill finds and ebay those are my top three that i thrift at um, i have thrifted through clothes mentors i bought a couple of, of items there through clothes mentor i have thrifted um on on blog sales i have thrifted um some other little um stores here and there like there i forget what the names are so this will be be helpful so that i'll know because sometimes i'm thinking where did i get this and i'm, I'm looking to my top three and they're not in there i'm like where did i go i'm trying to wrap my brain where did i go where did i go and then i'm trying to go through my um my playlist and see if i could find the video 
and try to remember where I pur purchased it. And, and, and so it's a little bit, it, it's a little bit difficult. So this will help me keep track of that. When it comes time to letting go of some pieces, cause I have, I have been trying to track myself to letting go of pieces that are not just at least 90% there for me. You're never gonna have a bag that's 100% everything for you every time, every day. So, you know, it's just, it's just not. But what I have learned through watching um, different YouTube uh, creators, uh, especially uh, Jackie from Jack's Bag Attack, um, Candy from Candy Sweet Love for LV, she will purchase accessories, you know, top handles, straps, or whatever to help 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 the bags fit her better for me when i'm thrifting it's like okay if it doesn't come with a strap if just you know i'm trying to trying to do that um eva from fisha floyd she has you know cut some chains off which i'm like ah, watching her was was crazy i've seen um tara from tara's boutique and jackie both have cut straps off of their junies which i'm not there yet with cutting straps off but you know i'm not not opposed to it yet I don't think but I'm just haven't been able to do that I usually just keep the straps attached to them and then I will just buy an extra strap to help me get you know use the, the handbag the way I need to but all of that I can put down here in this information then you come to my handbag collection wish list so this is you know when you see a bag this is what it looks like I don't know if you can tell I'll try to insert pictures that are that look better I'll probably try to pull them from her website because she probably has better pictures since she is also a photographer. It has my handbag collection wish list. Uh, what's the price of it when you, the, when you actually make the wish, what brand, what item, and you know, do you have an idea where you're, where you're get it from, where did you see it at that price or what have you. So you could definitely have one handbag, um, like up here, what I would do is say, okay, um, whatever the handbag is that I'm looking at would put, I would put that there. And then here list the, the different sources I've seen it for different prices and shipping and all that kind of stuff. And then help me kind of compare so that you're not constantly having to, to try to look things up. It's all on one page. So these were, let's see, this was it 10, 10 pages of these that you said, wish list pages. Yes. 10 pages. So here's the item tracker page and then sales associate contact sheet because they look exactly the same just about just from glance but they do have different information on here sales associates the brand um the location so like if it's uh, louis vuitton um the location the name of the person their phone number email notes and information and then there's a check mark to say that whether or not that they're you know if they've moved and they're no longer with that brand you can also do it if you go across somewhere that doesn't have a sales associate but you frequent that store enough to say that come upon the same um, sales associate that you like to talk to um and you know they they you know you kind of get to know them and everything then you know, oh, okay, I like I like this one, and that kinds of things. So so it'll work with more than just high end luxury. You can make it work for your for what you do. Like, you know, thrifting. I would do it. You know, I don't talk to a sales associate, but um, there are times where I have had to go online and talk to somebody, and I can keep track there. It's like I'm talking about this order, and and I wanted to keep track of that. I do keep track or try to keep track of, I, I, I usually put them in a folder in my email and I usually can remember, remember, you know, that I ordered it and when I ordered it and about when I ordered it. Um, but things, when things get kind of crazy and busy, like they did for me this past November, December, when my father passed away and my, and my little brother moved in, things kind of got crazy. So thus it was hard for me to remember everything. And, and plus I was, you know a lot was coming in because i was sick in bed for two and a half months ordering so um this came out at a fortuitous time so i now i need to take advantage of it i'm just going to show y'all how how to put it on so you just pop it in here it has see it has this little um we know in the planner world you kind of say it call that a mushroom and you just pop it in when there. I'm 
when I'm putting in a new binder together, I always start from the back. Why? I don't know. Um, I might have seen somebody do that and maybe that was just easier. They said it was easier. Now it's kind of second nature to me, so I forget. So I get a, a, just a few papers. I start off and just to kind of so, um, secure this and make it a little bit easier and I can get the so it's not so wobbly and then I can add to it. Th these are fitting actually very good. You did really good on the punching autumn. Uh oh. Uh, did I run out? One, two. Oh, here's the last one. I was like, wait a minute, I thought I counted right. There we go. So now I'm building the bottom of it. And we just kind of keep adding. Here are the dividers. Oh, and then she there's also this, which I guess we can put our receipts and stuff in there, which this I'll bring to the front. I like those in the front. So handbag collections, we're still in handbag collections. So just add this here and then I'm gonna put a divider between them. And, she and left um, the divider lines blank so that you could fill out your own instead of her coming up with some and then you end up having to white it out and put in your own information anyway. So she did that. So this video is gonna be a little bit long. I wanted to show the process, especially with the disc. Um, those of you who are disc girls, or guys, um, disc planners, as I guess I should say, you know, are familiar with it. But if you're looking to find something, I like these because when I am writing, I like taking them out, setting it aside and writing on it without having the bulk of it. It's become even more crucial since the dexterity issues. It help, it helps a lot so that where I'm not on top of, a, of, of, a bunch of paper and my hand is up high and I'm at, a, at an awkward an awkward angle writing because you know writing is a chore for me unfortunately and I used to love 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 just to write all the time I mean that's that was our medium when we were growing up is is writing that's also part of my process. That's also part how I learn. So having my, it's a hands-on kind of thing, you know, and I've always been a hands-on kind of learner. So I'm gonna put this divider here between these two. The next section that we come to are the sales associates. I'm just keeping these in the order she has. I may change it later so that it'll help me with the way I think. And that's the beauty of this is that, you know, Autumn, these, you know, in her brain and how she does it, it's like, okay, this, this makes more sense to me. Well, with the beauty of the, of having the, the disc, um, I can take sections out and not disturb the whole, the whole area, you know, the whole book. I've, al I've always been a planner. I've always been, you know, writing stuff down. Um, and, and being a planner doesn't mean that you're stuck to, you know, rigid routines or anything like that. It's just that, I write things down and it helps, the muscle memory helps my brain to remember. These are the item trackers now. When you, when you go batshit crazy and you're ordering a lot, you need, need some kind of a system. Um, I personally don't like opening up something or you know going to film something and then saying, Oh, okay, this is not what I want, what I thought it was or anything. I, I, I feel, um, I can go with it. I'm a definitely, let's just go with it kind of gal. Always have been, you know, I prefer that to be the, the rarity and not, not the norm for me. It's just, it makes me feel unorganized and I don't like to feel unorganized. I'm an organ, you know, my brain, one of my gifts and strength is, is organizing, is being able to put a process together. If there's no process, I can sit there and say, okay, this is, this should be number one. This should be number two. And how do I know it? I don't know. I used to have a friend, very challenging friend. And she always used to say, well, where did you learn that? Where'd you do it? It's like, I don't know. I just had the instincts to learn it. Well, you had to learn it somewhere. And I was like, well, I don't know. I mean, I guess I must've learned it somewhere, reading somewhere, whatever, reading or watching or going to a class or I don't know. And when I went through my, my Lay Ministry Institute program, it's a certificate program. 
one of the things were you know personality traits and learning stuff and i learned a lot about myself in recent years like in the recent where i had learned them before as as in my youth but because it was in your youth you know I, you don't remember everything you just remember i remember the process of it so going through that I, it gave me more credibility saying okay this is just one of my gifts your gifts is doing this my gifts is doing this and and it's like i i just it's one of those things that's part of my nature one of those things that god touched me and said okay here you get to have this skill this is your skill to do that and it has helped me throughout the years with throughout my whole entire life and it has helped me keep calm and i've tried to still i try to teach the skills to to my children and parts of them you know they have picked up on and and keep them and parts of them you know you know they haven't you know it's like they're like well i want to you know learn my own thing my own system you know which is basically your system they just change it up to, to fit and suit their their um personalities but they feel empowered though and that was what was the important part is that they feel empowered to be able to do that and that's that's really what i wanted is for them to to get the skills of saying okay in a crisis we need to think okay break it down you break it down you have a big picture yeah it's great to have it be a big picture person but you also have to break it down and put it into these little puzzle pieces so that you know okay how do i create the big picture big the big picture you got to start with you know when you make a puzzle you need that first puzzle piece and you've got to just pick up that first puzzle piece and just figure out okay what's going to attach to it and that is the beauty of things so then here is this plastic oh oh this is a this is a whole puncher one not this is not going to work for the, for the um three ring binder i mean for the for the disc but i have i have my own i can i can put in in fact i'll probably have one up oh no i don't i'm rearranged stuff okay so now here is what it looks like now i have things that i can create side tabs or i can create top tabs that i can put in there so later on once i get it get it better situated i can show you i probably i also want to put this in a in a i have binders that these go in um they look something like this but i yeah so this also is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven ring binder. So this is a little bit too big, but I have, I'm sure I have something that will fit. Um, even if it's a little bit bigger, will fit this. And then I can, you know, I'll put it in like this. I just have to, I just have to find, find it somewhere. So it'll kind of look like that and it'll keep it nice and safe for me. These are the extra binder, the extra tabs. And I will just put these in the back so that they'll be at hand. It's always better to do, don't do, don't do this. I have to, cause they're thicker, um, to do when it's thicker page pages to do, um, you know, maybe three of them. I'm doing more than three and you'll mess up your papers that way. So don't do as I do, but I was able to get it on. I'm a little bit, you know, more savvy but if you're first starting um if y'all like any more planner videos to let you know as far as how i how i utilize planning into my handbag world in my shopping world i can i can do that for you so now here's the book it's nice and pretty i went ahead and went with the white um binder rings that i had and so then here is the front page there's several of them that where they'll create um, binder covers for you and you just tell them what you want or you pick from their website. So if I decide, okay, you know what, um, this is what I want, I'll, I'll still leave this in here and then I'll put a fancier one on the top, you know, and, and just kind of juice it up just as, as um, Melissa says, Melissa from Melissa's Corner says, you know, and I'll just bling it up. So what will happen here is these right here, I have, this is where is the divider which it's heavier paper than this one. 
and it's more of a little car card stock. I have dividers that I already have purchased that um, are clear and I'll put one here and I have some that have the tabs on the top and tabs at the bottom and then when, I'm, when I want to I can label them and then when I want to I can just flip to there whether I want them you know to flip on the top or on the side and to me it just kind of depends on what it is sometimes I have just top tabs sometimes I have just side tabs and sometimes I have both because you know I'm looking for different things like, like when I am in my original first um, budget planner um home budget planner and my home binder i have them all like that where where it has a top the tops are um have to do with one subject and the side one the side ones are the months you know all the months here okay i gotta go to to january or february that's it's here and then up here it's like okay in this section is finances this this section is the car this section is whatever because it's my home binder and it's easier to do that and then it's like okay the next month do this I have the same thing so so that will help but the main thing is that I wanted y'all to know that Autumn Beckman's handbag collection organizer I got the full set also comes in a disc bound system that you can do it I got the eight one two three four five six seven eight that's how you know it's it, how many you have you just count them so she does six or eight the six the six are a little bit smaller the sixes are the sixes are a little bit smaller than this this is a seven so sixes are will be like like that um, so she does this in the six or the eight um, the eight was the biggest so I like that one I like working with um, one two three four five six seven eight nine nine one more and um, I like the I like the full page but this this will work for me for now and I'm looking forward to get started on it maybe what I'll do is once I put some items in there I'll come back and I'll show you the updates and I'll show you how I put put organized it and everything so please go over to Autumn Beckman's website and I'll put the link or I don't know. I think I'll be able to put a link. I'll have to see, but it's autumnbeckman.com. But I'll, I'll put, I'll put the website in the description box and I'll put some pictures, you know, about her website there for y'all to have. And I hope that you enjoyed this. All right. Thank you, Bean Beauties. Thank you so much for being here. And letting me show you a little bit of my planning organization world. Thank you very much. Love y'all. Bye-bye.